Well, Wake Forest seller season has continued in Omaha, where the Demon Deacons came back to beat Stanford yesterday. Now Wake faces what may be its toughest opponent of the season in LSU. That will be tomorrow. It will be LSU's power offense up against the Deeks' elite pitching staff throughout the season. These two teams have split being number one for almost the entire year. Now, none of the Demon Deacons roster have ever played on a stage as big as TD Ameritrade Park. And while winning that first game was a statement for how good this team is, the goal is set much higher than that. It means a lot to us to, one, be here, and to, two, um, win a game. You know, not so many people get to even be in this situation, so we're super grateful for our opportunity to even come here and um, get to play on this field with a bunch of great other talent surrounded by, behind us. Um, but, you know, history is not on our radar screen. We're looking forward to, to the next day we play and um, in the future. This Wake Forest team is hoping to do what the last Demon Deacon squad did, who went to Omaha back in 1955 and won it all. Piedmont resident Bob Kuntz was on that 55 team, and he's actually in Omaha right now with the boys of summer to see if the 2023 team can bring home the national championship just like his team did. Kevin Connolly has a story. Art Bontaggy, Bill Barn, Harold Moore, Tommy Cole, Lexington native Bob Kuntz, who is now 90 years old, went to the original Wake Forest University in the town of Wake Forest on a football scholarship, but he also played baseball. He was a backup catcher in 1955. We were the, the little school in the big four, but we, we held our own pretty good. Kuntz, who would hitchhike to and from campus, has nothing but fond memories of his time at Wake Forest, especially being on that national championship team. We didn't have any superstars, I guess you'd call them. We had a pitcher that played basketball. I believe there were three football players playing baseball. Wake Forest had about 1,600 students back then. That 55 team is celebrated with a prominent exhibit inside the Wake Forest baseball complex. Some of the artifacts on display are Bob's. One of his bragging rights was always, you know, they were the first and for a long time, the only ACC team to have a um, national championship. Because that's what you did most, wasn't it? Yeah. Beth White is Bob's daughter. As a family, they felt it was important to get Bob to Omaha to watch his Demon Deacons play. We never thought it would happen, um, at least not in his lifetime. And the fact that he is, you know, physically able to travel that far for that long, um, I think that's the thing that is the most remarkable about this. After Wake Forest, Kuntz went into the Navy where he learned to fly. He then spent his career as a pilot for Piedmont Airlines. I would say he was probably happiest in the cockpit of an airplane. Ball field would probably be close second. Whether it's watching college baseball, one of his grandchildren playing high school ball, or you know, even back to when they played little league ball. Um, he loves being at a ball field. He likes the atmosphere. He loves the food. <laughs> Bob went to all but one of the NCAA tournament games in Winston and can offer this scouting report. I think they're pretty good, they're pretty balanced. Pitching is, I think, a little above average. Coach Walters does a good job. Uh, he gets probably the maximum out of his players. Speaking from experience, he has this bit of advice for the current Wake team. Give it everything you got. You'll never get back. Sound advice from a lifelong fan.